When I got banned on YouTube, it yeah. was the same thing. Yeah, I just got hit with like a bunch of warnings at once. I got hit with a bunch of strikes all at once. They started taking on all these videos and then it was just gone. I had uh, only one strike at the time and then they just hit me with everything. And it was very clear that they, they wanted to get me off the platform. Two of those things that you got banned for are no longer violations on YouTube. Yeah. Talking about the election and the jab jab. Yeah, the medical misinformation. Yeah. What? What's up? I just think um, these Dang. platforms... Here we go. They have rules. And if you don't follow the rules, you're out. It's that simple. Yes. However, let's be fair here. In a house, you have guests that come every now and then. Some stay longer than they should stay, but they're here anyway. And you have favorites. You have your favorite guests. And you're not so favorite guests like, like Sneeko. And as a result, they come to your house and you're like, you know what? Play ball. Have fun. The ones that I like, I'll give you some warnings. You know what? Take your shoes off. Put them, <laughs> at, put, them, put them at the front door. You know what? You got your shoes on? Get out of my house. This is a very simple example. The point is, is that these companies have favorites. And if you're not a favorite, you're out. Either by something that you did that is kind of a gray area, or they may say, eh, this person I don't like at all, just do ban him for this this and this and make it very vague and that's it that's all it takes someone off like you see your tweets see your content and then say get him out of here so it works bro their platform so do you think you said something we don't know huh we're we know this no you don't you went all got banned okay that was two <laughs> years ago like and you also when i was speaking about it i knew what the risk i was taking but then but then if you knew that then that was dumb Okay, you realize that people, some people need to do this. Some people need to put things on the line, just like the guy you had earlier. Yeah. The whistleblower who's going to, might he might lose his job to tell the truth. Well, Sneeko, I agree with you. So, but what you're saying, like, you keep saying as if we don't know that there's favoritism on social media. Everybody knows this, but some people are going to tell the truth regardless. And if you don't have those people, the truth never gets out there. Well, guess what? When you're Ben, your voice, what does it do to your voice? You're saying things that are so obvious that we know it gets suppressed and you have to go to different platforms, but the platforms are still there. But the thing is, you know, this, you still did it. Yes. Okay. So what but are you saying? Some people might not know this that are making content. Everybody so, knows. No, they don't. I, I talk about the band if, quite a bit. If they did, they wouldn't be banned. Do you think Candace Owens didn't know that there's favoritism on social media? No, no. What I'm saying is that like, they don't like you. Okay. Who do you think doesn't know that that got banned? A lot of people don't know. Can you name one who got banned who's telling the truth? Well, I won't say their name, but someone okay. close to us that we know very well. Okay. That, that was in Romania. I just think that people need to hear what's happening behind the scenes. And if they don't hear it, then they make content. Oh, I'm going to do what these guys do. Right. But there's risk involved with it. You're changing your point. You're saying that we shouldn't tell the truth so that we cannot get, so no, that no, no. we don't get what censored. What I'm saying is, if you end up making content that's not what they want you to say, they will ban you. We yes. know this, right. But yeah. some people have to do that regardless. No, they don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. We can we can disagree. Not everyone wants to be a martyr, bro. And <laughs> so you don't have to be a martyr. I'm saying if you don't want to do that, that's fine. But yeah. don't try to say that like it's something we don't know. People need to tell the truth regardless of what the the consequences are. But we both know you were warned and you still did it. And then Yes. But but yeah. the bigger point is that no matter what happens, tell mm -hmm. the truth. Who are these people? The pe okay, fresh. We know the people that run the platforms. See, this is why I differ from your opinion and your, your thoughts, because I think everyone should make a choice. It doesn't have to be always going on this path and be a martyr. I think you can choose. You don't to have to be a martyr. No, no, but you're saying. I'm not, I'm not saying you have to do that. at all costs and ruin, ruin things for Some yourself. Some people your need to do that. Yeah, but not everyone. Then, then if you guys don't want to tell the truth, that's okay. Yeah, but your, your rhetoric is that you should have done this. Or you could have made more money. You could have you had Twitter. You could have had Snapchat. You could have had YouTube, whatever. You lose it, and then you still do it anyway. You still succeed regardless. And that's good for you. Oh, so then why do you keep bringing it up as if it's something that I, like I made a mistake? Well, what do you think? I just told you what I think four times in a row. I don't think I made a mistake. I think I did the right thing. I think you made a mistake. Okay. <laughs> do you see, like, do you, <laughs> but, but listen, do, do you listen, hear him looping? Listen, no, no. Do you, do you hear we him looping? We disagree on this, on, on this part. Okay. And the part is... You did things that you want to do, 
You, you paid a price for it. So then it. how is that a mistake if I did what I want to do and I'm happy with the decisions and I told the truth? You could decide, do you want to make more money and then not tell the truth and not have convictions? Or do you want to tell the truth regardless and make a difference in the world? If you want to make more money and run around with celebrities and sell your soul, that's fine. It's really a choice of, do you want to sell your soul or not? I would rather tell the truth. I don't, my soul is not for sale. And that's if okay. you want to sell it, okay. But that's not, a, you should not say it's a mistake to have conviction. Yeah, bro, obviously it was bro, a difficult situation. Bro, you were freaking out. Yes. Of course, things get. Di I'm sure Candace is freaking out right now. I'm hey. sure Chris is freaking out. I'm sure Pavel Durov in jail is freaking is out right point. now. If you don't want to go through difficult situations because you don't care about telling the truth, then that's fine. I'm saying what some saying? people need to do it. No, that's fine. Then but do not, not call the people that do it. Do not shame them and say you made a mistake. I didn't shame them. I shame you. Okay, so I'm in that category. Don't say that I made a no, mistake because no, no. I never said no, that no, and no. I do not believe that. Hold on, hold on. You and I both know, if you didn't get banned on YouTube. Where you be today? It, it probably is running around with OnlyFans in no, no, LA. No, 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 no. Is that what the life no, that, no, you, no, that no. you want people to live? You know, That's what I would be doing. That's probably if I was a mainstream YouTuber, I would be making nonsense content, selling a lie, not telling the truth. Some people need to do it. If I had stayed on YouTube, would I have made more money? Maybe. Would I be like have more industry connection? Would I be at a Diddy party and a Mike Rubin party? Maybe. But is that worth trading for what I have now? No. And like you said earlier, the most important thing is a connection to God. That's something that I've been able I to agree. find. If I was still had all the mainstream connections and I still was like doing the dance that they want you to dance to, would I have a connection with God? Maybe not. So do not say I made a mistake. I, you're like doing the smirk thing, but it's it's a silly argument you're making. I just think you could have been huge, bro. Okay. You keep saying that, but you can't change what happened. No, I'm, I'm not saying so that. So why do you keep saying that? Because we both know you could have stopped it. Okay, so what is the point of saying this now? So that everyone can see watching here, they have a choice to make. Either you can tell the truth at a cost or make content and go on. You realize I'm still making the content that I was making during my, my like creative era. I just made a documentary in Bosnia. I think it's some of the best work I've made. You know, and, and that's something I maybe wouldn't have the finances, maybe I wouldn't have the, the knowledge to make it if mm -hmm. I was still on YouTube. I no, I, nothing was really taken away. Actually, I would advise people, if you have real convictions and you believe in something, tell it no matter the cost. Say the truth and having that, like me rejecting the gambling deal that they offered, I take more pride in that. I'm more happy with myself and my soul than having the $20 million. What are you really going to do with that extra money? What You can't take it with you when you die. What's more important is that you know you did the right thing and the people around you are proud of you. Tell the truth. Do the right thing. Don't sell your soul. I don't think you made a mistake, bro. I think you did the right thing. I think if you had stuck on YouTube, more than likely, you probably wouldn't have found God. You wouldn't have converted to Islam. You'd be a degenerate like Aiden Ross and Kai Sinan. I think uh, you're definitely probably one of the younger streamers that's doing something positive and helping guys out. So I, I don't think you made a mistake at all. I think you did the right thing. And you went ahead and stepped up and talked about a topic that's very censored that everyone is scared to talk about and brought awareness to it. Um, you introduced me to some people, and I think that was, you know, forged some great relationships as well. And I was able to bring some of these people on our podcast and bring them out to the greater thing. So I think in general, no, man, I, I think you didn't make a mistake at all. I think you did the right thing.